YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Cam Rams here. I'm back with another video, man. As always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to click on this video, man. Make sure you watch the video the whole way through. But anyways, man, hope you guys are doing good. Like I said, it is Monday right now. I just got off work a little bit ago. I'm home. It is currently 7.03 right now. And you know what I'm saying? That means it's time for dinner. So we got to go ahead and cook up some food right now. I don't even know what we're cooking up yet, but yeah, man, let's just get right into the vlog. If you guys are new or if you're not new, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe right now. Make sure scroll down and say, am I, am I subscribed to Camram? Let's go ahead and get into the vlog. Yeah, man, Monday. Look, we're vlogging, bro. I'm, bro. I was like telling somebody, I was like, bro, it's so crazy. Like, I feel like I'm, I've become so much happier just posting, bro. Like, cause again, bro, sometimes I be so much in my head about just posting y'all. Like sometimes you could be such in your head that you don't have no motion. You don't have nothing behind it because you just can't get out of that process. I'm like, bro, I'm just going to post. So I'm just, I don't know. I just want to say that I'm super happy guys. If you guys are taking the time to watch this video, like I really appreciate you, bro. From the bottom of my heart, I really do. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I don't know. I'm getting sentimental. I'm getting over here like that guy that be at the bar, you know what I'm saying? Super drunk. Like I damn had five drops of lemon, you know, uh, five shots of lemon drop. And now I'm over here telling you how much I love you. But I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart, guys. I'm going to get to cooking. We're not going to do this little yap session. Let's get right into it. Enjoy the vlog. Okay, so this is a pickup that I just got from Amazon, bro. I've been needing new cutting boards. So, literally got the... Oh, bro, can I... It's like stuck to the... <laughs> hold on, y'all. I'm over here. Okay, I'm over here trying to... Anyways, so basically, I got these new cutting boards. I got this from Amazon. I want to say this was only literally like 12 bucks, bro. So, it comes, again, three different sizes. You know, got a small little joint. You got, you know what I'm saying, your medium size joint. And then you got your big joint. You know what I'm saying? So pretty cool very cheap i'm gonna cut the chicken up on this first before i even like do this i'm gonna like wash this because i'm not just gonna throw the chicken on there without uh putting soap on it because i'm not a weirdo but yeah we're gonna wash this real quick um wash these real quick and then we'll go ahead and start cutting up the chicken seasoning it and uh we'll go from there okay cool so let me go ahead is the okay we got the rice cooker got the rice cooker right here that's good we got the rice Again, we're probably going to go green beans for the veggies. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys get your veggies in, of course. Um, yeah. All right, bet. We're going to wash this and get right to it. So when it comes to my chicken that I cook, I like to cut it up into very small, like, not cubes, but very just small pieces. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I just like that. Just like, you know, saying something just like that. I don't really go out of my way to cut the little, the little white part. What is that called? The tendon? I, I just, I don't got time. They just be doing too much. I just try to cut them up. You know what I'm saying? Just like this, as much as I can. Just like this. See this little part right here? I just try to, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably get rid of, usually, where's my scissors? Usually I'll just cut it with my scissors. And yes, I do wash my scissors. I know y'all gonna freak out. So just like that. Just like that. One piece, just like that. So I'll take this, boom, and just throw it all on here. All the little, boom. All the little pieces I'll just collect it on this other one. And this is where I'll season all of them up.
Okay, so now we got all the chicken right here ready, and now it is time to season it. So we go up in here, see what we got. Of course, salt, of course, pepper. What else we got? Oh my gosh, garlic powder, yes. Um, Old Bay for Shorsky, ground paprika. What else do we got? What's this right here? Salt for, I don't need this. Garlic salt, I'm good on garlic salt. Yeah, no, I think that's it. So we have our money makers right here. Guys, when it comes to seasoning your food, me personally, I would much rather it be over seasoned than under seasoned because you're gonna be mad. You're gonna take that first bite, you're gonna go, oh. they're gonna be like, bruh, I'd rather it be like, dang, this junk is seasoned too much rather than it be under seasoned, you know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid to season your food. Um, again, I'm not saying go overboard. I'm just saying, don't be afraid to, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you throw, throw it on there. Make sure, you know, your seasoning is covered. Yes, sir. It's looking good already. So again, like I said, boom, seasoning's on. What I like to do personally, I like to rub it all in. It's like, you, it's almost like you're shuffling the cards. If you ever play like a game of cards, <laughs> you know, just shuffling it all in. That's just what I like to do, get it all in. Boom. All right, look at that. Now that's nice. So again, like I said, I'm not afraid to season my chicken, season my food, whatever the case is. I'm not gonna go maybe super as heavy on this second round, but I am gonna make sure that all of the chicken has been covered and touched, you know what I'm saying? So just gonna do a little bit of a lighter round. You see, I'm not doing as much this time, but I just wanna make sure this season, you know, this chicken has a different color than what it started with, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So salt, pepper, Old Bay on here, of course. Can't go wrong with Old Bay. Paprika. Yep. And then, of course, my favorite, garlic powder. So you see a little bit lighter this time. Same thing, I wash my hands every single time and I go just like this. Now if we get a nice little zoom in, look just how seasoned that chicken is right there, man. Look at how seasoned that is, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be some good chicken. Super easy. We got the cup of rice. Dump. And then, if you guys look in there, there's like basically these little grooves. It just goes to one. because It already has it all measured out for you, so it's very simple. Boom. I think that's good. Why not let it fly? Shout out to Chris Smooth. Just like that. Gotta plug that John in. Boom. Boom. And. What the? Hello? Bruh. Of course, when I was recording, it, had, it was trying to help me, y'all, but look, boom. Okay, there it go. Boy, why is you was playing with me, Mr. Aroma Rice Cooker? You better get right before you get left. And I see you, Mr. Cut Green Beans. I know you in the cut. <laughs> I know, I know you in the cut, no pun intended. I know you in the cut. All right, so we're going to let that cook for a little bit. But yeah, we can probably go ahead and start cooking this chicken so yeah i need a big pan and let's start 
not air frying this. Let's start pan searing. Let's go. Let go. Let's see what we got. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is the small one. But we need a big boy. We need a big boy. Let's see what we got. Olive oil. That's a must. to go ahead and probably get prep for the green beans got my little uh, pot right here super super easy I don't do too much again you're just literally heating the green beans um, I got a nice little electric can opener you guys are about to see that that junk is pretty fire I'm not gonna lie but yeah we're about to start cooking this chicken and this rice is cooking and we got the green beans green bean like on flight ski Just like that. Just like that. I hope you guys have a great dinner.
Great workout. When I was like, honestly, when I'm out there, like getting so freaking hot in the inside the gym, it feels good to come outside in this cold and like cool down. I don't know, I don't like how it's like, it goes quick from being so hot to cold though. I feel like that's like bad for the body, but that was good. Whew.